Okay, welcome to the fifth part of this tutorial in which I will explain how to create interactables in the game. In this case, uh, I will be attempting to make a door switch and a light switch. Also, I will showcase how lights flicker. So we use it. This is going to be a normal theta panel, and this is going to be a light panel. Can place them like that. And let's name this door panel 1, and let's duplicate it. Rotate it and place it to the right of side of the door and door panel two. Okay, and let's uh, get the name door and rename it to door. Now, this uh, can also be done through scripting, but you can do it uh, easily through the editor. You go to its button and connection tabs. It can be switched on and off. It is not locked and it is not disabled. I will showcase this soon. Let's also place a locked one and a disabled one. To show, show you what that does. Okay, so we are going to go into the connection and tab and put door in the connection entity. And here you want you really want to avoid special characters like this. That will actually make your map level unreadable, map file unreadable by the editor, and you will have to know, open it in Notepad plus plus and to edit it. And let's do the same thing here. But there is one more thing. We want uh, when you press that when you press one button, the other to also change its state. So we're gonna go get door panel two and add a comma door panel two. So that that also changes its state. And the same with this. Let's test that in game. The lights don't do anything yet, and they're both green. And should we use this? They state the disabled one simply won't. The locked one won't allow you access, and the disabled one will not display anything and will not be interactable. So, that's it for the door. And now for the more complicated part, the lights. First of all, you will need a lamp entity. So, let's go to this lamp, and you have to connect. Enter the connected lights tab and connect all its lights that would be spotlight 3 spotlight 4 which is probably the uh, gobo its point light And you wish to make sure that its particle systems and billboards are connected to the right point light. Point light 11, point light 11, and point light 11. Now you will have to do this for the other lights in the area. And that's point light 10, point light 10. And point light then. 
get the point light's name. Now that this is done, we can add the lights to the switches connection. No shutter. What we also want to do is to connect the box light to any one of the lights. So we could do this. Uh, but we have to take into account the flickering if that were to happen. Now let's see if it runs. We can turn them off and on at will at the simple press of a button. I'd also recommend placing these higher, a bit higher. So, there you have it. Um, oh, another thing is that we might want to have another box light for when we... Uh, have no lights turned on. So let's just put this zero that's zero zero two and put a dim green ish light and this will replace the one. And also since our lights are turned on, we can turn them on or off to here, or we can also say that this is switched on by default. So now if we turn it off, we still have a small amount of, amb of ambient light coming from this. Now let's do some light flickering. We can set this light to flicker. You usually wish to use custom flicker settings, because this one will flicker like crazy. And add a bit to this. Yeah, and add a flicker off sound, which should be in machines. Miss lights. This one's a good one. And let's say this. So then this light will occasionally flicker because there's some wow stuff over here. Let's see how it works in game. can alter we can also enable flicker fade which will have a more subtle transition
it kind of also looks better here. We can change the minimum off time if we want it to flicker so it can actually get turned off. So yeah, this is 